And now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three-degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. Today was the fifth straight day with below normal high temperatures here in Northeast Wisconsin, but warmer weather is on the way. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Warmer, but not necessarily warm. We're going to be looking at highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s as we head through the final weekend of February and move into March. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that are mainly in the lower half of the 20s. It is 22 degrees in Kiwani. We've got 23 in Wapaka. The cold spot is Anago coming in at 15. In Appleton, it is mostly cloudy. The temperature is 21 degrees. In Green Bay, after a lot of sunshine, it is also mostly cloudy. The temperature is 23 with southwest winds at around 7 miles per hour. All in all, a quiet day after last night's heavy snow east of the Fox Valley and close to Lake Michigan. Some very impressive totals here right near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. The highest totals, Point Beach State Forest at 10 inches, Casco also at 10 inches, and Algoma coming in at 9 and a half inches. Once you get well west of the lake, Fox Valley towards central Wisconsin, the totals were much, much lower. We've had a few flurries out there this afternoon, otherwise dry conditions prevailing across most of Wisconsin. High pressure is now building in from the west, and it's going to be our main weather maker here as we head into tomorrow. We've got a lot of sunshine across Minnesota and Iowa, and we will see a mostly sunny Saturday and a warmer Saturday. On the back side of that high pressure system, you can see temperatures are warming up 10 to 20 degrees warmer today compared to yesterday, 35 in North Platte, Nebraska, 31 in Glasgow, Montana, and that's the warmth that's going to move into Wisconsin tomorrow afternoon, and it's going to move in on some very gusty winds. So Saturday will be warmer, but it's also going to be windy. We'll have west to southwest winds at times gusting to around 30 miles per hour or even stronger. So if you are planning on being out on Lake Winnebago tomorrow to do some sturgeon spearing, look for mostly sunny skies and gusty winds. High temperatures will be in the lower 30s. Tonight, some evening clouds and then clearing out and colder. Lows will be in the single digits to around 10 degrees across most of the area. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, windy and warmer with highs right around freezing. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 32. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to bridge the gap for autism. And we did that today. I forecast 24 and the actual high temperature was 25 degrees on Sunday. A little bit cooler upper 20s to around 30 winds will turn to the north and west behind a weak system that's going to move through and then several weak systems early next week as we Head into March, one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. Each one will bring a chance for some light snow or a snow shower. High temperatures will be in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Of course, Tuesday is March 1st with a high of 32 and maybe a few snowflakes. It looks like March will come in like a llama. But the bigger question is, is now a good time to get your car washed? Yes. All right. Tomorrow is a car in wash line. day, but expect to wait in line for what? Two to three hours? <laughs> Probably, Cameron. Thank you. <laughs> well, here's the story.